Disclaimer. All the information in this video is quoted from different sources and is by no means our personal opinions. Number 1. Shin Se-kyung When we talk about the talentless visuals of K-drama land, it's often actress Shin Se-kyung that tops the list. Starting out in the acting field from the age of 8, the actress was expected to blossom in talent as she grew up, only to receive criticism in her later works. Shin Se-kyung is often called a poker face princess for her beautiful visual yet stiff expression. And when talking about her acting, some netizens call the actress a drama killer because she always has the same facial expression, that she looks soulless and plain, and that she doesn't deserve all her leading roles. Worse, the actress is often listed as one of the most hated actors in Korea because people believe she's incapable of showing more than one emotion. Her acting in Blade Man, Fashion King, and Bride of the Water God in particular was under heavy fire and certain viewers even went as far as to nickname the actress Shin Saki. Against all this negativity, however, a certain amount of viewers seem to think otherwise. They believe that Shin Se Kyung has shown plenty of improvement over time, and she just had difficulty picking a character that suits her acting. Girl Who Sees Smells, rookie historian Gu Hae Rung, and most notably the award-winning Six Flying Dragons are believed to be some of her better works. Which, speaking of rookie historian Gu Hae Rung, Shin Se Kyung's acting partner is also at the end of the ire. Number 2. Cha Eun Woo The Korean entertainment industry has no shortage of handsome men, but Cha Eun Woo is dubbed a face genius, because apparently he's too perfect to be true. And thanks to this stunning visual, the idol managed to attract plenty of attention as he broke into the acting field, nailing major roles even as he's mostly a rookie. Yet, according to many netizens, his handsome look is not proportional to his acting talent. And so, ever since his first drama, Cha Eun Woo's acting ability has been up for debate. In particular, in rookie historian Gu Hae Rung, the idol slash actor had received numerous comments that criticized his terrible acting. Hold your eyebrows. He is acting with his nostrils. He has no conscience. These kinds of comments can be found in every topic regarding Cha Eun Woo's acting. Some netizens also pointed out that his expressions were awkward and exaggerated, and his wide-eyed, surprised expression was the same in every scene. His weak voice particularly stood out, they also said, and even went as far as to demand that the actor apologize to viewers and just stop acting. Eunwoo's previous role in My ID is Gangnam Beauty was also drowned in negative responses, with many claiming that fans are only defending Cha Eunwoo's shitty acting because he's handsome. Fortunately, as time passes, the ire of netizens has also started to ease. The actor's performance when he played Suho in True Beauty was said to have improved, with comments claiming that he can now be considered a good actor. Still, that's only one role out of many, and we can only wait for his future projects to judge the actor's true skills. Number 3. Go Ara In the past, Go Ara has admitted to the public that she has limitations in acting and that she had started taking acting classes again to grow as an actress. Yet, she is not safe from netizens' dissatisfaction with almost all of her performances. Go Ara is a beautiful actress with big brown eyes. And yet, those eyes of hers reflected little emotions while acting. Her expression is stiff, and it's hard to watch her without dropping the drama altogether, netizens shared. Criticism for the actress seemed to have died down after Reply 1994, where the actress was acting all natural and quirky making it impossible to dislike her. However, negative comments arose once again as Go Ara was announced to play the female lead in Black. Here, people started to call the actress a flower without scent, a figurative way of saying that she has got beauty but no skills. Soon, comments like, she's just not fit for acting, I honestly don't see her making it ever, and she has no charm when she acts, fill the screen, landing Go Ara a stable spot in the list of Korean actors who can't act. Unfortunately, there are people who find the actress up to taste. They believe that she was brilliant in You're All Surrounded, and her performance in Dol Dol Sol Sol La La Sol was top-notch. Still, the minority can hardly rule out an entire crowd. Number 4. Lee Min Ho Seriously, you may question how is the Korean top star Lee Min Ho in this list? Well, according to Korean netizens, he is. Criticisms regarding the actor's acting made popular appearances when The King Eternal Monarch was aired, and never seemed to die down since. 
Things started when a journalist cracked down on the acting in the series and wrote a scathing post just to diss Lee Min-ho. His lack of acting skills caused viewers to be unable to be immersed. He only cares about his visuals in every role. He has done the same type of acting in repetition for the last 10 years, the article said. It also quoted scenes from The King, The Heirs, and Boys Over Flowers, and dragged Lee Min-ho's previous characters as all the same rich guy to prove a point. Most surprisingly, though, was that netizens seemed to agree. They said that the article worded things a bit too harshly, but still agreed with its major point. That is, Lee Min-ho's acting was not something to look forward to. One scene of the actor from The King was also dissed miserably and called a chicken mukbang that incites dieting because it was too bad. Of course, fans also jumped to the actor's defense, but Lee Min-ho's name can hardly be cleared in the eye of the public. Number 5. Song Kang Sung Kang was perhaps among the most hardworking, because ever since Love Alarm made his name, the actor had constantly starred in multiple projects, from Sweet Home, Navalera, to the more recent Nevertheless. However, his constant appearance has irked a large number of audiences, who claim that his acting is simply not convincing. In particular, a post on Korean forum Pan had attracted a lot of attention when it questioned Sung Kang's acting ability. Was Sung Kang's acting always this bad? The post asked before going on to say that his vocalization is just frustrating. The comments also complained that Song Kang freaking sucks, and that his acting is cringeworthy, and only at web drama level. Another topic regarding the actor's performance also spotted comments like, I didn't understand what his character was trying to do at all. His facial expressions for the role are just way off. Or even, it's immediately no from me when I see Song Kang's name in the cast. Yet, despite all the backlash, there are still opinions that went against the stream. Some people quoted Sung Kang's performance in Navalera, stating that the awkwardness in Nevertheless is just Sung Kang portraying his complex character. So is Sung Kang actually a bad actor? Perhaps you should decide on your own. Number 6. Nam Joo Hyuk As a model turned actor, Nam Joo Hyuk has the ideal face and height, and yet since the beginning of his acting career, he has always received mixed opinions regarding his acting skills. Nam Joo Hyuk rose to fame through series like School 2015, Moon Lovers, and most notably, weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Joo, where he displayed a heart-fluttering chemistry with co-actors Lee Sung Kyung. However, according to netizens, he was just lucky, and he and Lee Sung Kyung were dating on the set, so it can't really be called acting. And his later works didn't serve to the actor's advantage. In The Bride of Habek, he was called out for having no progress, having hopeless acting skills, as well as terrible pronunciation. In fact, people even started to question, how does Nam Joo Hyuk even score leading roles even though his acting sucks? But for some, Nam Joo Hyuk's acting seems to be enough. They believed that the actor had been decent as the lead in Startup, and argued that Nam Joo Hyuk was stiff and awkward in The Bride of Habek, because his character, a reclusive water god, demanded the actor to act like so. Whatever the case, though, the actor is still unfortunately listed as one with controversial acting skills. Final on the list is actress Ha Ga In, who you might have spotted in Witch Yu He and The Moon Embracing the Sun. Having debuted for nearly 20 years, Ha Ga In's beauty is hard to match. And yet, the same cannot be said for her acting abilities. Her role in the sensational drama The Moon Embracing the Sun, in particular, was heavily criticized. Her acting was so awful with her large unblinking eyes and expressionless face. It feels like she was just staring at a script the whole time, a comment said, but it was just one out of many similar. Even when the actress took a one-year break from acting, the streams of backlash never stopped. Comments like, she has nothing going for her other than her pretty face, probably doesn't care about acting all too much, and I don't want her to come back to acting with her poor skills, fill every topic about Hagain proving just how much hatred netizens have for her acting skills. And that's our list. Do you agree with these netizens, or do you think these actors and actresses don't deserve all the slander? Can you think of any others that should make the list? Comment down below to let us know. And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!